and welcome back to RSG Endless Space 2, Episode 7. So let's see. She gives a view directly into the center of the galaxy. Well, we discovered something. That's not good. We discovered another thing. Oh yeah, and our ships can just go straight there now. It's more for the reason we'll let you repair such retrofit your ships in their system. Okay. Thank goodness we fixed our dust problems. Oh, it is making a settler. Okay. How is our, over our overpopulation? <clears throat> I don't know, because in this game it seems to me like taking planets is actually pretty okay. Infinite supermarkets. There's nothing more to be done. Fuel reality. It's already going okay. I forgot that I actually have a... Oh yeah, because it's not doing much. And that... Okay then, oh no, that's a lot of stuff. When Planet 5 was successful, was antimatter. Boost ended the volley, boost increased chance has come to an, an end. Oh, this. Okay. Planet Unknown Empire. Fine. Let's so this at first PSP lifeless and poor. There's a second scan at high power. Science to maybe discuss something more interesting. Distant new event on the shoulder of supergiants. Isn't so giant about 80 times the size of an average star has just gone zooming over, capitalizing media attention. The event a pacifist group within your empire's launched a campaign to bring home fleets that were monitoring the event rather than leave them to patrol. Twenty percent plus ten percent. Okay. It's come to an end. It has come to an ending as well as its effects. Thank goodness for that. So apparently we have one. Actually, it would tell me. No, it wouldn't. Sort of patrol. Okay. Whatever. Hmm. It's still moving. Ooh, 
I just re there I why did I never explore past Rigel? I'm supposed to get above 50 dust, so I'm not going to build anything more unless it makes any improvements, unless it gives me more dust. Change. Okay. And to call on again. Ida. My matters. Matter from primary system has created a wondrous piece of technology and neural device. You have to temporarily control the thoughts and actions. Unfortunately, the Venom crew one apparently passed away shortly after testing it for the first time. It's a bit of hullabaloo what to do with the device now. Confiscate. Uh, people are calling for the device to be destroyed. A potential mass producible device of eyes. Every person will be known to sentient life. Person of the best free empire. So, Pwn should be put to good use, not destroyed. As long as powerful technology is in the hand of the trustworthy, is acceptable, right? Quest started lifting lamp. The Empire's door to new probably chances. The chances, but also to rewards. Each new group adds strength and flexibility to a side. Maturity of the Empire is whole. Low manpower. I see. So every single time it's always a negative 20. What is this blue line? Like, why is it not full? Gained over the constellation Serpentus. Oh. No, those are. I mean, I kept on talking about constellations. Yeah, but. You're the ones. Apparently, that's good. Medium minor train anomaly, um, unknown subterranean curiosity. Do me metal and available in them. Oh, because it's taken. Life form curiosity. You know, motion colonize. Okay. Dust ruins. <laughs> ruins on the time the endless or dust enhanced. Um, Structures or traditional buildings that preceded the dust era. Very rare occasion that one can find entire structures built uniquely from this valuable resource. I have so many. Damn. Let's go find out. Who's nearby? 
can actually find because there are four empires in this, right? There's nothing for it to do. No. Yeah, I just realized how silly that it, it has no. I should actually pay attention. Oh my god. To what its strengths are. Maybe I should also pay attention and look at the correct planet too, you know? That might actually help a lot. Oh, that has a lot of gold. Or dust, sorry. You, sir. I was just curious to know if it's going to actually be able to make it. That's a good thing. Hyperium. And titanium. Not the worst, but we're definitely not the best. Um, no. Small immigrant community is forming. Your heart swells seeing them go about their daily business. Your empire is growing in more ways than one. Oh, I cheered loudly when you announced Lena as Emperor Elect. I expect, perhaps, given her name, she will need to play a more prominent role in the proceedings now. Oh, great. And for the future, excavating the past, part one. Um, the trail once closed. Julinka rots in the cells, silent. Knows anything about the ancient rebellion, or nothing um, that we're to admit, at least. Logi eats away at you day after day after day. You torture, um... Oh, nothing. Oh. So you're still knowing how many countless thousands of patriots must have taken to enact such a betrayal? In shipyards, empire funds siphoned of official accounts, protected records, double lies. The snakes must still live among the masses here in Rhea, lying over and over to preserve their skins. Will you need to search every lead yourself to know the truth? Who can be trusted? Now, your mind is a thing of millions of true patriots. 
Now the matter of Imperial Elect has been settled, it's time to turn your attention to the futures. Like, what cause should um, the Great United Emperor be set on before your rule ends? Should you heed the warnings of the war mongers in rank, epitomized by the shit of your names? But Razor, should you hark um, back to an early just sign of invasion when you're Mazari or the sail of the Great Thrones? Perhaps you should stay this course. Yeah, I'm Phil Superbench and Industrial Powerhouse. Say it to be your final legacy, but you should give your empire a taste of the future nonetheless. Okay. In this age of uncertainty, when the stars are with the other, your empire will benefit from basing its shit inside. I like Lena should witness and understand the mighty wit Millie feats. You have held um, this empire together for nigh on 40 years by maintaining the you know, empire values of order, labor, and presence. I like Lena as well as we'll see how an empire is built. Okay. Mizari, um, ancient Mizari clans sail the stars um, by understanding the great beyond as um, the galaxy. Um, you should do the same setting in the full range of worlds where you could start. Sci fi design school. Jaller fire? Okay, they are. You have an entire civilization when it comes to a battle. Your role is a strategic one here. You can choose a battle technique and compare the strength of your fleet against enemies. Click on the advance button. Learn more. <clears throat> Welcome to the advanced battle setup of your battle command HQ. Um, here you manage your fleet, select your attacks, and hopefully outfox your opponent. So it's good to know the physical effects of the theater where the battle is taking place. Some theaters, like Gastro feels huge difference to your strategy. Once you've established the um, uh, the effects of the theater, the next thing to do is analyze your fleet's strength and weakness against your enemy. So these stats about military power. Um, Alright, pay attention. Observe the central panel as you click on each sadistic in turn. Press on the list gives you an overview of ship's trajectories. Come back to this later. The second concern is the relative strengths of your combined offensive defensive military power against enemies. Well, the third focuses on the strength and types of the two fleet's weapons. Press examine examines the effectiveness of the weapons at the three different ranges, short, medium, and long. <coughs> um... Uh, the thicker the band of color, the more pertinent the information. For example, your strongest weapon is represented by the thickest bar. So now you're equipped with all the relevant. Let's click on tactical to learn more. So we are best at low. Um, together, these task tactics are um, composed of your tactics set. Um, no techniques, you're going to need to take account of all the intel. Fleet statics, statistics, theater effects, and most crucially, the anticipated move of your enemy. As you can see, altering techniques change your ship's directories in which to alter the likely di distance between your ships and the enemies. Um, hmm. Here I have an open range where it's most effective. <coughs> the flotilla composition elements are only relevant when your fleet has five or more command points for now. Ships are grouped in a single central flotilla, and only in the middle row of the chosen tactics applied. Well, fancy chances may you sure retreat, although that does come with penalties. You can only do whether you want to watch the battle in Glorious 3D, then click fight. Okay. Let's see how this works. Battle of Sulu versus Amoeba. 
I'll just watch it auto. any hits at all. Still in the first phase though, of course. I don't understand what any of this is. What the... Th can't, just straight up can't hit the damn thing. Start building defenders. No. I think the rockets keep on exploding above us. Why'd you stop fighting? In the video, the fighting is over. Ships uh, survive the battle, gain experience. And level up ships that didn't make it. Well, all the remains of them is a hundred thousand pieces of plasma, metal, and bone some laying out through the space of one draw. Look next time that's the case. So uh You're kidding me. Fight it. I thought we were friends. I mean, I had too many patrol ships anyways. Grave defeat, yep. Where did this even happen? Okay, so that does work. How many flipping battles do we need? Oh, so these are actual pirates. Oh, 
not going particularly well, but... Going a lot worse, I guess. I knew we need defenders. Oh my god. The very last second. Hooray. Who's doing your empire? The name of this should not be instrumented. He's religious, apparently. Uh, sign here is incurred an upkeep cost. Think of it as a galactic expenses account. In the presence of each galactic hero, is this cost. Some of these heroes have big egos and get kind of competitive. Heroes, um, once via locked. I mean, it makes sense, right? Any other than her brother, Empress Zaval Zalavis, Lena grew up a lonely child confined to the depths of the Imperial Palace while her older sibling went through the Old World Order and created a new one. Possessed of a willful rebellious streak, Lena's most significant choice came early in her adulthood. She was beginning a secret affair with Duke Antonov, a sworn enemy of the Alliance of Nations, protean form of United Empire. Antonov was subsequently killed in the final stages of the Great Continental War. The line continues through Lena's only child, Victoria. During his birth, Lena dedicated herself to her religion, then disappearing for months on spiritual pilgrimage. Okay. She starts at level five. So yeah, all my, oh no. So you know, pirates. One small, you know, spittable. I do large lava Kessler syndrome. Hostile present detected. Small ash and multiple moons. You can guess find it unknown ruins. Curiosity. I don't know of a past oscillation in the upper room atmosphere of this planet is full of different debris. The cost of removing these remnants in space-based experience as well as silence must be either expensive protected or often replaced. Great. Very much want them. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode, so we need to build military ships to defend ourselves, so if you this video, you know what to do. See ya!